everybody, Elisa here with another Vera Bradley bag of the day. Um, today I thought I would do a sort of a haul video. I mean, I, I tend not to do haul videos because I, I don't buy a lot of stuff usually all at the same time. I, <laughs> I'm sort of spreading out my obsession over a long period of time. <laughs> um, but I had to go to a factory outlet store a little while back um, to return some stuff. And, you know, what always happens is that all that, I end up spending all the money that I, I respend all the money I got in the return. <laughs> um, and that's sort of what happened. So I thought I would just show some stuff. Um, the first thing is the mini satchel. And this is something I had seen before at, um, at the store, but I had kind of just dismissed it uh, out of hand. I hadn't really thought about it. I thought it looked a little precious. It was a little too small. So who's, you know, what's that? It's like a makeup case almost um, attached to a, a crossbody strap. <laughs> but this time they had, they had them, um, on display stuffed you know with stuffing to get their shape proper shape um, and just so I started to look at them a little bit more closely and I really like it actually maybe also because you can wear this crossbody has this removable crossbody strap um, and I'm starting to wear bags crossbody more um, and finding that I'm not so crazy about the uh, triple zip hipster um, and so, you know, looking at other, other shaped crossbody bags. Um, and so I, I was looking at this also, and uh, this is Paisley Amethyst, um, like I said, mini satchel. I was looking at it also in Marion Floral, which is one of the, the newer prints. Um, but I'm, I think I'm still a little on the fence about getting that in a, in a bag, although you know this is a, this would be a nice. I mean, it's it's too much for me in a big bag, but this might be a nice compromise because it's small. So I was looking at that, but I can't get everything, <laughs> um, unfortunately. And so um, you know, I just decided to stick with the one. And uh, I feel like you know, I, I did, I do like this pattern. I. Um, I was a little sensitive to it at first. I have it in some small items, like accessory items, but no, no bags, because I was concerned that I feel like very Barney-esque. This was just a lot of purple. Um, Careful with Mommy's Vera. Don't mess with the Vera. <laughs> but I, um, I kept thinking about this pattern for a bag, especially for the go-ahead convertible crossbody, because it has lavender in it. And I've said this in, a, in at least one of my other videos where I talk about this pattern, that lavender reminds me of my mom, was her favorite color. And so I kept thinking about the lavender. And when I was in the store, I realized um, I could find bags made with pieces of fabric that had more of the lavender in it and less of this. I'm not crazy about this this purple here, I never liked that color. Um, but I do like this. This was a very pale lavender, and this is a light lavender, and this is sort of more like a periwinkle blue. And I was finding I could get bags made from just, you know, that had more of the, those colors. And this was one of them I felt like had, had a minimum of this color. And so I sort of started to warm to the idea of getting a bag in it more. <laughs> All of a sudden, this very calm and quiet. Um, it's like the quiet before the storm, I'm sure. <laughs> anyway, so this um, is sort of reminiscent of the 100 handbag. It's got a, it's a satchel with the two handles. And on one side, it has this slip pocket, although here it's very tiny. Uh, <laughs> Um, and the strap, the handle straps do go down the body of the bag. They don't wrap around on the base, but they do go down the sides of the bag. And the base is not quilted, oddly. Uh, it's, there's no quilting on it. Um, it has some kind of stiffener in there, but it's not removable. And then the other side of the bag doesn't have any, no pocket or anything. It's just plain. 
uh, and the dimensions were eight this way. I was surprised at that, that, that it was that long across because it really does scream like tiny, I, I'm tiny. <laughs> so eight this way, about six this way, and about five this way. So I have some stuff in here. Uh, I crammed in my like bare essentials, but you're, I, I find anyway for me, I would really have to pare down. Rosie, how about, how about you leave the blanket alone and you play with your teddy bear? She won't ask. She won't ask. She won't ask. <laughs> um, so I can show, uh, maybe I'll put it on first so people can see what it looks like with the stuff in it. And I can show what I have in it. So the crossbody strap adjusts from, um, oh, I wrote this down. Yeah, 28 to roughly 28 to 53 inches. So it's this is it at its shortest. So, you know, I mean, I guess you could, you could wear it like this sits up, you know, I tend to like bags that sit up high, and so this kind of hits nice for me. Of course, I, I am finding that these are kind of, you know, they don't, it's not like on the 100 where there's hard, is there hardware on the 100 handles? I can't remember now off the top of my head, but the 100 handles seem to sort of uh, not be sort of flying around like that, sort of sticking up like that. Um, I, I don't, it's, it's not bothering me so much, but I am aware of it. I think I would probably try to get them to sort of lie down a little bit. But I did buy this primarily to wear crossbody, so uh, I'm not going to be too worried about that. I mean, I notice it. I definitely notice it, but it, it's, it wasn't a problem, enough of a problem to keep me from getting the bag. I suppose I could carry it, you know, just from my hand. You can see it is tiny. Or, you know, you could carry it like that. I mean, I have carried my 100 like this. So I always feel kind of uh, <laughs> very girly, like I've, I've, I've transported back into the 40s or something, the 1940s, and I carry my bag like this. Oh, well, let me show it, try, try to show it crossbody because that is actually why I got it. And it has the, the hardware is the factory kind of hardware, which um, the buckle has a very, is a very squared off, has a very sharp, has sharp edges and sharp corners. I'm not, I prefer the signature buckles on the crossbody straps because they're rounded and softer. This is real pointy, uh, not comfortable. And it is a little stiffer, a little harder to work. I feel that the ones on the signature bags slide around easier. But yeah, they stay in place. For me, they stay in place. There's also this strip of fabric, you know, that uh, on the strap to keep sort of keep the straps in line. Uh, I, you know, that's not a feature I really. That feature doesn't do much for me. I feel like the straps aren't that unwieldy. So here is crossbody, which is how, you know, when I tried, when I got it, when I was looking at it in the store, I put it on this way. This is what I was interested in. Uh, how does it feel this way? So again, you know, yeah, that, that's a, that's a thing. <laughs> the straps there like that. If I could get them to sort of lie like that. Sort of try to train them to go that way. That's not bad. So I think it looks really cute. And I, I just like the size of it uh, and the shape of it for a crossbody. Because I do find that the 100 as a crossbody feels a little boxy and big and a little awkward sticking out from my body. So this is sort of. Uh, in place of that. And so in here, um, it's a soft plastic zipper with a ribbon pull tie. 
and you can see I have it kind of crammed. So um, I have tissues in here. Maybe I would consider not taking tissues with this, but I do like to take tissues. And I have my Carson cell phone crossbody with my phone in it. Does does fit in there on its side. So that makes it a little bit more awkward to get your phone out in a rush. Um, but I, I don't know. I don't like the idea of just putting my phone in there and scratching against everything else in there without a covering. And I have my GPS in, in this, a smaller pouch. It's not my regular GPS pouch. This is the Mirror Cosmetic from the factory, the factory style. Um, I like that a lot, actually. I have a bunch of those. And I'm using, so this is my, this is my pared down wallet. This is the um, card case from the signature line that they don't seem to be making anymore, which I'm very sad about. Um, I tend to use this, you know, when I, I need a smaller wallet. And so, oh, and my cord for my GPS is in the slip, interior slip pocket. So on one wall, I don't want the dog to get to that. <laughs> so on one wall of the bag, it's just that nylon, solid nylon interior that's on all the factory, tends to be on all the um, factory styles. And it's kind of blousey, like loose, feels a little loose. And there's a, a slip pocket there on one wall of the bag. And... A zipper pocket on the other wall of the bag and they're comparable in size. Okay, mini satchel, paisley amethyst. Um, so you know you can see kind of small for uh, the amount of stuff I got in there wasn't a lot and I, I do like to take a big bag. I don't feel like I carry all that much but I guess the items I carry are kind of large. Um, so that was that. And then I, in keeping in keeping with the Paisley Amethyst theme, <laughs> um, like I said, because I was realizing I could find um, bags with more of the lavender in this pattern, um, I was reconsidering this, which is the Go Ahead cro uh, com uh, Go Ahead Convertible Crossbody, which I like very much, and I have two others, and I have a couple of videos on those, so I, I won't do too much on this. I just want to show the pattern, because in, in my video where I talk about the throw in this pattern, I talked about how, yes, you get a lot of these smaller paisley uh, motifs in there, but you also have the, what's interesting about it is that the negative space is used to make paisley shapes, and you can, uh, what was frustrating for me about this pattern with the bags was that the fabric pieces are cut up to construct the bags and you lose that uh, what's going on with the background the negative space also creating paisley shapes but you can see it very well on the blanket on the throw which is very pretty um, and so you can but you can see it here you can see what's going on here is negative the negative space the background space creating a paisley shape you can sort of see on the back as well. You know, there's one here, another one, oh, another one here, this one here. And again, I felt like not too much, not too overwhelming with this color that I'm not crazy about. Still a lot of the, the periwinkle and the lighter lavenders. So I was pleased, you know, I saw that, I thought, okay, I'll, I'll go. I'll go with this one. I was thinking about maybe getting this in Marian floral, but it just felt a little too, I don't know, like I should be in Florida. And that's not a, I'm not a dig on Florida. I love Florida. I hope to move to Florida one day. <laughs> I have a relative who lived in the Keys, and, and, um, and so I spent a lot of time in Key West and other parts of Florida, but especially Key West and the lower Keys. So... Uh, although, like they say uh, in Key West, with, this ain't the mainland, so it's very different in Key West and mainland Florida, but still love Florida. So, you know, saying it, that pattern reminds me of Florida isn't, you know, isn't in, meant to insult Florida. <laughs> but I do think it has a very pastel kind of beachy look to it. Um, like I should be wearing like white 
pants and flip-flops or something. <laughs> so I thought, well, this will be more practical for where I'm living right now. And um, I, so, yeah, you can check out one of my other videos on this bag. I have a couple, so I won't do too much on it, but just basically it's got that one zipper pocket on the outside. The, the back doesn't have any pockets or anything. It has these east-west slip pockets there. And um, that top opening is about 14 inches, the zipper, soft plastic zipper. And inside, it's your basic configuration. Again, with that solid nylon kind of blousey feeling, it almost feels like it's not fully tacked down as well as it could be. Um, it's got two slip pockets on one side of that one wall, the bag, which is hard to see because it's dark purple. And the zipper pocket on the other wall, the bag, and a removable crossbody strap which I, I, I have worn this bag crossbody um, in my video other videos so you can see how it looks there I won't bother doing it here but I, I tend to use this more as like a shoulder hobo kind of bag because this for me this is what this bag is all about this shoulder strap which is not removable um, but is the perfect strap length for me gets the bag to hit on my body where I want it to be. I feel like every shoulder bag that Vera Bradley makes should have this in a removable strap. Um, so I can just throw a couple of things in here to show how it looks on. Uh, but I can get everything that I need in here, full size. My, my regular GPS pouch, my charger cord pouch, my photos in the ID cases. My regular size wallet, uh, tissues, everything that I need fits in here, no problem. And I've shown that in other videos. And it has a nice sort of drape to it when you put it on, it sort of drapes in here. Well, you can see right there, you can see that paisley shape. So I'm glad that I was able to get over my whole Barney association with this purple. <laughs> it was a nice change, you know, to pull out a purple bag. And I do like the combination of colors. I do think it's very pretty. So this is where I like it to hit, right? Right, my arm is over the bag, you know, sort of keeping it in place. And it's in the curve of my body here, which is comfortable. I just, I just, this is a great strap drop for me. Okay, so then moving on from the purpleness, <laughs> um, I, I also, I knew, I knew this was going to happen. I mean, I was going to the outlet store, knowing I wanted to look at this and uh, print, which of course is another like novelty print. I, I would say. Um, there is a toucan, I think it's toucan party, but let me look. Something that has a tag still on it. Yes, toucan party. <laughs> I was interested, uh, when as soon as this came out, I, I, I knew I wanted to see it. I was interested in it and I wanted to see it in person. Not for the toucans, because I'm actually, although I love birds, I've never really been crazy about toucans. I think they're odd looking. Um, so when I, <laughs> when I was looking at items, I was completely uninterested in cat getting a good toucan, but here's a toucan on, on one side of, of this one. You know, sipping on his tropical drink. Or her, could be her. <laughs> um, the thing about the Kiss coin purse, and uh, if you've seen some of my other videos, you know I, I like anything with a Kiss, kiss lock closure. Um, but when with these particular Kiss coin purses, they're they're constructed from one piece of fabric. So the fabric is attached to one piece of the hardware, and then it wraps around up to the other side. So there's no seam on the bottom, which is nice. But on one side of the pouch, the fabric's going to be upside down. And so if the if the print has an obvious top and bottom, right side up, that's a problem. And that's what happens here. So you know, on the toucan is upside down, but I wasn't going for the toucan, so I wanted the other critters right side up, so that's what I was looking for. And so on the other side, 
is where I got my animals that I was interested in, which is the smaller bird. There's a smaller bird in this pattern down here. Um, and the crab. I was very interested in the crab. And what I like about this pattern, I mean, of course, the pineapple is great. It's a great graphic kind of interesting looking fruit. But they've treated it very nicely here with the gradation. That's what really got me on this pattern. You can see the color sort of gradates from this orange and these orange and peach tones on the sections of the pineapple skin going into yellow and then even into a very pale green on the far side. And that's what really got me. I love anything with gradation. Like I love yarn that gradates. So when I saw that I knew it was going to, I wanted to see it and I was, I was going to be interested in it. And even the crab has some gradation there or you know his some of his his legs are uh, very deep you know orange red there going into the lighter peachy tones so I, I thought that was not a nice treatment I mean of course <laughs> of course if your crab is orange that means he's been cooked and is dead unfortunately I mean this is not the color of a crab when it's alive so that's kind of a little it's a little sad actually. It's like my parents, my mother loved lobster. My parents would get lobster and cook them and you know it's very sad. You know you're killing, it's, it's hard. It's hard to, to watch that. I can't, I can't eat lobster and, and any, anymore <laughs> because of that. Um, so anyway I, I, I love the gradation and then that was what I was going for and so um, I thought this would be cute, cute kind of retro, vintage feel kind of thing with the in this style item. And then, you know, I saw this again with the crab. I just really like the crab, so I saw this coin purse um, with the good crab there, and again the, the little bird. So I thought, okay, well I'll get this one. You even get the gradation in the umbrella that's in the drink. So that's a nice attention to detail. It is a black background, and the, this has a slip pocket on the outside. I don't have a tag on this, so I'm not, I don't know officially what it's called. I'm assuming it was the coin purse, you know, the, it's the factory version of the coin purse. Um, it is smaller than any of the other, like all of the, any, any version of the signature line coin purses that I have are bigger than this. Um, and even that, the smallest pouch in the cosmetic trio is bigger than this. So this is real small. I just got this. I don't have the tag because the um, tag was stuck. This the thread was stuck. Um, the string that the tag was on was stuck in the teeth of the zipper, and the sales associate was helping me get it out. And in doing that, she she took the tag off. So that's fine. But um, it's nothing inside. There's no slip pockets or anything inside. It's just one space in there. Um, but anyway, I thought I would use this for like when I want to put lip balm or lip gloss or something in a in my larger bag, and I'm worried about maybe it might leak. Um, I thought, well, I'll stick it in something like this, contain it in here, in an item that maybe I'm not as a, you know concerned about getting soiled, whatever. And <laughs> then I just I don't know. It's hard when you're in there, right? It's the same thing happened to me with flamingos, where you just want all the stuff. <laughs> um, and I saw the bird on this item, the, the bird that I like, uh, and then I thought those were two nicely placed pineapple shapes, and so I went with this. This is the, um, I also was interested in this item because of what it is. It's the petite RFID, so that's good, petite zip around wallet, which I got because it's very similar to this card case that I like so much. So I thought, ooh, maybe this will be a good substitute, you know, if this is being retired, whatever. And so this has a flap, you know, a closure, and a slip pocket on the back. There's a, a, a pocket there. But this element in here, this pouch in here, the zipper pouch, is basically the same thing here, except here is on the outside is your ID window, whereas here it's on the inside of the flap. Um, yeah, I wouldn't put 
you know, my ID here, I'd probably put a photo here. But what I found, which is making me think I might return this, is that it doesn't open, the gusseting doesn't seem quite as generous. I feel like here it really opens nice and wide, and plus this flap sort of helps you pull it open. This just doesn't feel like it really, it feels very tight. Um, it does have a, a zipper pouch in between the two sections, and on the walls of each section, like these, there's a slip pocket. It's hard to see here because of the lining being black. Um, I, I just, I don't know, I just feel like the whole thing just feels a lot sort of tighter space-wise. You know, even though it's really very similar to this, this just feels a little bit more generously cut. So I have a few of these, luckily. Um, I think you can still find these sometimes in the online outlet sales. That's where I got this one. And they both have this kind of um, O-ring that's easy to open, which I like. It's sort of square. The edges are square on this. I don't know if you can see that, whereas here, this one is round. I do prefer the round one because it's softer, but this is okay. This isn't as bad as the square buckle on the adjustable crossbody strap for, because it doesn't have those pointy corners since it's round. So I got that, but like I said, I was think I'm thinking I might return it, but I got it with this lanyard because I thought, well, maybe I might want to tether it to the inside of a bag or something at some point. So I got this breakaway lanyard. Also because I saw it's a strip of fabric that had a little bit of the crab and a little bit of that other bird on it. And I thought, you know, what are the odds, you know, it's to get an interesting part of the fabric on this strip of, you know, lanyard strap, <laughs> you know, the odds are very slim. And so I thought, I saw that, I thought, oh, I better get that. <laughs> um, but if I'm going to return this, I don't really need this because I, uh, I only got them to go together. For some reason, I'm not matchy, matchy with Vera at all. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm happier when I got more different patterns on me all at once. <laughs> However, I found that with the ID cases that I'm using to carry photos, and I have lanyards attached to them, I like the lanyards to match those ID photos. I have no idea why. All of a sudden, that matching seems important to me. It irritates me when they don't match. <laughs> right now, they don't match. It's all a mess. Um, so I'm working on that. But um, it's funny how Vera shows you all your quirks, all your personality quirks. But anyway, so these might go back. I'm not sure yet. And um, one other thing that might go back is this. This is the Escapade Wristlet in Tangerine Twist, which most people know is another new um, outlet pattern. And I'm having a reaction to this that I, was ha that I have to patterns with animals in them, where I'm very drawn to it and I'm trying to get good animal placement. And this has fruit in it, at least three different... Uh, configurations of fruit and that's what I was going for. So, oh, I had to get the fruit. It's got fruit. That's cute. <laughs> but I really don't like this pattern overall. I don't like the colors. It reminds me of um, Poppy Fields, which I like much better actually. Although this makes a lot more use of orange. Um, Poppy Fields is really more primary color scheme. Um, but it, it, it's similar to me. This is the front of this and I do like this grouping of three uh, it's blowing out a little bit, but I think those are kumquats. I mean, that's what they look like to me, are kumquats. And these colors are very pale. Um, I know it looks it's a little blowing out a little bit, but this is just a very, very pale pink, very pale, kind of like peachy pink color, very light mint kind of green here. So very light colors there. And then the back, you get the other two, um, fruits that are in there. I mean, I guess this is the tangerine over there. I'm not really sure what that is down there. And you get this, this big burst here. It's blowing out a little bit there. But, you know, I saw this is the only pouch I could find that had all three pieces of fruit and none of them, you know, cut off. 
And so when I saw it, I said, well, I'll get that. But And I like the fact that my cell phone fits in here nicely. I mean, that's I do tend to use items when I'm just carrying, like I just want to carry a wallet. And if my phone could fit in the wallet, that's great. And so my phone would easily slip in here. And this is kind of a nice melon, coral kind of lining color. Again, you can see that it's kind of blousey, the lining. Um, and on one side of the... Uh, one wall you have a zipper pocket with a small very small slip pocket on top of it almost like maybe you would slip an ID or something in that I don't know it might fly out of there I don't know if I would do that anyway you got then you got the zipper pocket it's a decent size that's probably where I would keep my ID and cards and money and my cell phone would be in the bigger section um, and my keys too would fit in there I mean my cell phone fits in there with a room to spare but the thing that is making me feel like, I don't know if I want to keep this, there's two things. I'm not crazy about the pattern in general, especially the colors. And then there's this, pleather wristlet strap. I just wish they would use fabric. I mean, they do it on their tech cases now in the factory outlet store. So this just che really cheapens it. And I think they think it makes it look more high end, but it just cheapens it to me. And I can't, it's not removable. So I was thinking maybe I could, in the store, when I was convincing myself to get it, <laughs> I was thinking, well, maybe I can cut it off. I have to use an X-Acto knife or something and cut it off. And then maybe I could thread a ribbon in that, the little piece of hardware. But I'm um, not really sure exactly what that other side of the hardware, like it's like a D shape and that straight portion of the hardware there you know, that I can't see because of the pleather right now. I don't know if that's one piece or it's just kind of like two pieces sort of pushed together and there's a space in there. I don't know. So I I don't know how successful I would be getting a ribbon to stay on there. It just kind of starting to feel like kind of a lot of work. <laughs> so I think this may go back. Um, not not quite for me, but that's, that's not, it's just sort of an overview of the pattern, even though it is blowing out a little bit but it is I find it very kind of garish it's a little bright because of the bright colors on the black that gets you a good feel of the colors if I if I bring it it blows out when I bring it oh ooh, that's really good if I go do, do it super close you can see sort of see what's going on there's like you know a dot pattern in this the petals of this particular flower and there's you know some detail work here in that fruit these are not just solid color shapes. You know, they have detail. And that's what's nice about the fruit. You know, even those kumquats there, whatever they are, you can see the detail there. And that appeals to me. But everything else, not so much. Well, that's not bad. Every now and then I get a couple of seconds of decent light and then it blows out again. <laughs> Okay, the lens wigs out when it's got the bright colors and the black. So that, that will probably go back along with the other. This, these will all probably go back. Um, and then one last thing. There's another Kiss Lock purse in Marion Floral. I was saying, uh, I, I can't quite get behind this as a, a big bag. Um, and I was looking at it. They have now something they're calling a large Glenna at the factory outlet store. And I, I have a feeling it's going to be taking the place of the pleated tote. And it's very similar looking to the pleated tote with the pockets on the side and a little bit of the pleating detail. But it also has the slip exterior slip pocket, at least on one side, that the Glenna has. Um, so, I mean, I did look at that, but it's it's big. It's very big. I don't know how it compares to the pleated tote, but it just felt real big. Anyway, and so I was looking at this and that, and it's just, you know, it just felt ginormous. But I do think it's nice and a little item. And so I was looking at the little items, and that's that was a nice, I saw this one with a nice big flower on both sides. Um, yeah, the flowers are kind of abstract. 
And I do like some of the colors, this sort of watermelon kind of color in combination with the, um, with the blues. That's nice, you know. I feel like, you know, that was key for the, getting this item. Like if I had just gotten these smaller, you can sort of see them here, the blowing out. But there are also lots of smaller flowers in this pattern, and I, I wouldn't have done it for me if I had gotten smaller flowers on the sides here. This was all about getting some kind of big flower. And I do like the um, blue. There's large blue flowers in this, and I love the color blue. And so if I had seen one with blue, the blue flowers, I, I would have been all over that. But this is what I found, so just to get a little taste. And it's a very light blue background. And the lining is blowing out, of course, again, but it's very light blue. It's not white. It's a very light blue, like ice blue. Same as the exterior, which, again, is blowing out. <laughs> it's, so, it's so crazy bright overcast here right now. Sorry about that. If I wait for a sun, you know, I feel like I won't get another video in for two weeks. I just feel like it's been raining for months. Um, anyway... It's raining right now. It was supposed to snow. So anyway, that was my that was my haul. Where I I spent all my return money. <laughs> so it's like my return never happened. Um, but this is primarily I did want to show this because I do think this is a neat um, item, and I'm 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 encouraged like to see going forward when when they as they come, go, come out with their, you know, future patterns to look at this, always look at this item in this particular, uh, this, those patterns in this particular item. I, I'm, I would have interest in getting another one of these, I think. So I just think it's real cute. I don't know about washing it. I'm a little nervous about washing it. There's something in there, but it's hard to tell what it is. I don't think it's cardboard. I feel like it's very heavy, stiff, I want to say like when you feel that, that very stiff felt type of fabric, it might be that. So I don't know, maybe one day I'll take a chance and wash this. Anyway, but that was my, that was my uh, factory outlet store haul video featuring the mini satchel. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and hopefully see you next time on Vera Bradley Factory.